everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to tell you the top 10 must-have items when I am baking sugar cookies. Now I actually have 11. I have an honorable mention and that is of course my KitchenAid mixer, which I love. Now you do not need one of these. You can do both of my recipes by hand. This, of course, just makes it so much easier. And if you were looking to buy one, wait until Mother's Day or Black Friday. I got it half off. So never ever pay full price of these. So I just wanted to give that an honorable mention. It's one of my, my favorite items, but not a must have. Let's get to top 10, no particular order. One of my must have items is a large working surface. So before I had a nice beautiful island, I had just a tiny table and no countertops because you need the space. So if you have like a table that you don't want to put the dough on or you have no counter space, this it was an absolute lifesaver for me. Next absolute must have, a very good rolling pin. This has some real weight to it. This is just going to make cookie rolling so much easier. Next up is my electronic scale. This just makes it so much easier, especially when you're doing the icing. Icing, you really want that to be exact. So having a scale is going to take the guesswork out of that. Moving along, I love my tipless piping bags. I order mine from what AliExpress, Alibaba, I don't know what it's called. I'll try to find a link. They're great because you just, you don't need to use tips. Now sometimes I use tips, but at 90% of the time, I'm not using tips. Well, they're easy, you can wash and reuse them. And if you order these from China, they take a month to arrive, but I think this whole pack cost me $2. Absolutely love my tipless bags. Now to go with that, I love my little bag clips from Ikea. This an absolute must have item when I'm doing sugar cookies. Moving along, and I know a lot of people have asked what these are in my sugar cookie recipe. These are my fondant spacers, but I use them as you see for sugar cookies. So I put them down, I didn't see in the video, and this just makes sure that all of my cookies are a quarter of an inch. No guessing, no re-rolling. When I bought these, my cookies, I could just roll them so much faster. And then my cookies are perfect every single time. Next up, my little turkey lacers. You probably can't see that, but turkey lacers, the best for just when you're doing your icing and you're getting all the bubbles out and making it smooth. A pack of these, absolute fantastic. Cheap, and they get the job done, absolutely amazing. My next love, my Americolor food coloring. Now there's another brand, I think, I'm not sure what it's called, but if it looks the same, I love this. I prefer it over Wilton because the gels just, they last forever. I found that the Wilton gels were just would get just unworkable if you had them for longer than six months. So I've had lots of these colors for a very long time and they're still doing great. They make amazing colors and I just love them and they are the only food coloring that I use. Another must have item for me, good baking pans. I cannot stress good baking pans. I used to have just some really cheap ones and they were just inconsistent and they burn my cookies in four minutes. When I mean, you're making cookies and you find that they're burning really quick, don't blame me, it's probably your baking pans. So good baking pans, a must. Last, an odd one, a nylon. <laughs> now this um, clean nylons, I shouldn't have to specify that, but brand new ones. So when I am doing really, really um, detailed work and I have an incredibly small tip and the tipless bags won't do for this, you want to make sure that your icing is free of, of anything. So I put this over a cup and then I scoop the icing in and then it's like a sifter and it's getting up every single bump. So that way when you're using your teeny tiny tips, it's not going to get clogged. If I don't sift my icing with this first and then I put it in here, it's going to be constantly clogging and I'm going to have to like use a little tool to try to, you know, unclog it and it's just extremely frustrating. But once I learn this trick and I'll find a video that someone posted of how to do it and I'll post it, it's just, it's fantastic. No more clogging. It works like a charm. Perfect. 
And that's it. Those are my 10 most favorite, most used, my absolute must have when I am baking. They just make sugar cookies and doing the icing so much easier that you're going to look like a pro. Thanks for watching.